Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm going to be solving maternity magnesium dosage calculations using dimensional analysis. Now, if you want to solve these problems with me, you can download a free worksheet via the link in the description below. So let's get started. Our first problem says that a patient with eclampsia has been ordered IV magnesium sulfate, and the healthcare provider has ordered a four gram loading dose to be infused over 20 minutes. You're supplied with a bag of magnesium that reads on it four grams per 100 mLs. And what you need to solve for is the loading dose. So the infusion rate, how many milliliters per hour are you going to set that pump at to give this loading dose? So as I said earlier, we're using dimensional analysis to solve these problems, but if you prefer a different method like ratio and proportion, desired over half, I have videos up here that will help you do that. So with dimensional analysis, we have like this continuous problem and we have like various conversion factors that will cancel out throughout the problem until we get to the desired conversion factor that we wanna to get to, which in this case is milliliters per hour. So that's our whole goal, that's where we wanna get. Therefore, what I'm gonna start out with is I'm gonna start out with minutes over hours because I gotta throw an hour in there somewhere so I can get this conversion factor of milliliters per hour. So I'm gonna start out with 60 minutes. We know that 60 minutes is equal to one hour. And bam, I got my hour. So whenever we set up dim uh, dimensional analysis, we multiply and we move our conversion factor over here. And now I can plug in the stuff from the problem. So the healthcare provider wants a loading dose over 20 minutes, and they want over that 20 minutes, we're gonna get four grams. So that cancels out minutes. Now, create us another one. So bring grams again over here, and this is what we're supplied with. So we know that in our bag, four grams is equal to 100 milliliters. And that cancels out grams right there. And look, we're where we want to be. I have milliliters up here, hours over here. So I'm ready to solve. We're gonna multiply everything at the top, multiply everything at the bottom. And whenever we do that at the top, we get 24,000. Multiply everything at the bottom, we get 80. Then we have to divide. So 24,000 divided by 80 gives us 300. So our answer is 300 milliliters per hour. This problem says that we have a patient who is 29 weeks pregnant and they have eclampsia. And it says that the patient has already received a six gram loading dose of magnesium sulfate. And now the healthcare provider has ordered a one gram per hour maintenance infusion of mag. So you're supplied with a bag of magnesium that reads on it 20 grams per 500 mLs. And what you need to solve for is the maintenance dose order. So we're solving for this maintenance dose, not the loading dose like how we did previously. And we're trying to figure out the rate of infusion, so milliliters per hour. So to set this problem up, what we're gonna do, we're going to start with what was ordered. So the healthcare provider ordered one gram to go in over one hour. So again, our goal is milliliters per hour. So we're gonna multiply this, bring our grams over, and we're gonna plug in what we're supplied with. So we know that 20 grams is in these 500 mLs, and that cancels out grams. Let's look at what we have left over. We have milliliters per hour. So we're done, we're ready to solve. So multiply everything at the top, multiply everything at the bottom. So when we do that, we get 500 at the top and 20 at the bottom. And then when we divide 500 divided by 20, that gives us 25. So our answer is 25 milliliters per hour. That will be our maintenance infusion rate. This problem says that a patient has been ordered IV magnesium because they have eclampsia. And what the healthcare provider has ordered is first they've ordered a loading dose. They want the patient to have six grams over 20 minutes. And you're supplied with a bag that reads four grams per 100 mLs. And then after that loading dose goes in, they want the patient to be started on a maintenance dose. So they've ordered the patient to have two grams per hour. And you're supplied with a bag of mag that reads 10 grams per 250 mLs. And what you're supposed to do so you're calculating for two answers you're supposed to figure out the infusion rate of your loading dose so milliliters per hour and the milliliters per hour for the maintenance dose so first let's just solve the loading dose okay 
Again, we gotta get to milliliters per hour. So I'm gonna start out with that 60 minutes again so we can throw some hours in our conversions over here. So 60 minutes, we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour. Bring minutes over here. Over 20 minutes, they want the patient to have a six grams of the loading dose. That cancels out minutes. Now let's bring our grams over here. Let's plug in what we have. We have a bag that has four grams in it and 100 mLs. That cancels out grams. We're where we need to get, milliliters per hour. Now let's multiply everything at the top and everything at the bottom. Whenever we do that at the top, we get, I'm gonna bring that down over here, we get 36, thousand and then when we multiply everything at the bottom we get 80 and then 36,000 divided by 80 that gives us 450 milliliters per hour so that is our loading dose now let's figure out our maintenance dose so I'm just gonna put a little line here just to separate that okay so what we're gonna start out here is we're gonna start out with what was ordered the healthcare provider wants the patient to have two grams over one in one, every hour and we are supplied with a bag bring your grams over here we're supplied with a bag that has 10 grams in it and 250 mls that cancels grams out and we're where we need to be milliliters per hour so let's multiply everything at the top and everything at the bottom whenever we do that we get 500 at the top and we get 10 at the bottom now let's divide 500 divided by 10, that gives us 50. So our answer is 50 milliliters per hour for that maintenance dose. Okay, so that wraps up this review. And if you'd like more practice on these type of problems, you can access a free quiz via link in the description below.